Hi boys and girls, welcome to Penny's Reading Nook. And I wanna start off by saying, Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. We appreciate your service, your service and the sacrifices that you made for us. So, with that being said, I want to read a book for the kids that talks about veterans and to let the kids know that veterans are actually heroes in our own neighborhoods. And in fact, that's the name of the book today. So I hope you enjoy it. It is called Veterans, Heroes in Our Neighborhood. It was written by Valerie Funstein and it is illustrated by Aaron Anderson. And do you know what a veteran is? A veteran is a woman or a man who served in a branch of the military, whether it be the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, or any of the reserves for those branches. Um, so let's get started, okay? Veterans, heroes in our neighborhood. Let me see right here's a class of young boys and girls saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Today we learned about our heroes, a really special kind, the ones who serve America and they leave their homes behind. We read about the veterans who give all they can give to keep our country safe and free so we can love and live. They had a very important job, boys and girls. We don't want to ever forget that. Our teacher asked us each to name a veteran we knew. She said, now, you may be surprised, it won't be hard to do. So after school, I asked my dad. He had amazing news. These heroes live right in our town. So many of them, who can choose? There are family, neighbors, friends who never boast or brag. We all should be reminded of their love for home and flag. The man in town who cuts our hair is known as Frank the Barber. Yeah, he's cutting hair. But not too many know he was a sailor at Pearl Harbor. The butcher at the grocery store who cuts the meat for stew was once a paratrooper. Wow. Matt served in World War II. And Walter is a Navy man who came to fix our heat. He once fixed boilers on the ships that sailed with the U.S. fleet. Our neighbor Jacqueline is a nurse who wears a uniform. She cared for wounded soldiers when she served in Desert Storm. Ernie is a firefighter. We knew that he was brave. And yet, we never knew about the Air Force time he gave. And Edna, our librarian, had a son named John. He died while training for Iraq. Now she's a Gold Star mom. Our mailman is a volunteer who trains each year to serve. When duty calls, Bob goes abroad. He's in the Army Reserve. And Manny is a proud Marine who did a corporal's part. He was wounded overseas and wears a purple heart. We celebrate our Veterans Day the 11th of November. We show our patriotic pride and we promise to remember. Our heroes' headstones wear the flag from coast to coast in May. It's how we honor those we've lost and mark Memorial Day. We painted posters of our heroes and we marched in a parade to thank these men and women for the sacrifices made. But we don't need a calendar to celebrate the brave. We pledge allegiance to the flag and let those colors wave. It doesn't matter where they served, what service branch or rank. What matters is remembering them 
and offering our thanks. And that is something, boys and girls, we can do every day of the year when we see a veteran. We don't have to do it just today. And if you look here, they have the real um, pictures of the people that um, were in the book. We had, there was Frank the barber, and there was Edna, who was the librarian who lost her son, and this was her son, Jonathan. Here was Jacqueline, the nurse who served in Desert Storm. Then over here we had Walter. Remember, Walter's the man that went to um, um, fix the heat in the people's homes. And then we had Robert and John and Manny. And these were all the, the real life soldiers that was in that book. The end. So I think that was a very important book that talked to us about what veterans are and what we should do to celebrate the veterans and to thank them for the sacrifices that they did and to thank them for their service. So our project today is super, super simple and it won't take long at all. And actually, it's a family project to get everybody involved. I want you to get out your, your red, your white, your blue paper, um, get your scissors and your crayons, um, stickers, markers, glue, you name it, ribbon, whatever you want. And I would like for each and every one of you out there with your family, make a card to say thank you to a veteran out there and go find a veteran today to give it to them. And you can see right here, I made one. I have one that just kind of looks like a flag or a banner. I have my red that's a little larger, and then I cut a blue one, just a little smaller, the same shape. Then I have a giant white star in the middle that says thank you, and all the silver stars that went around it. And um, like I said, have fun with it. Make this a family project, and go find that veteran today and give that to them, all right? Well, boys and girls, that's it for me today. It was a short one, wasn't it? So, again, happy Veterans Day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mwah.